Welcome, welcome back to True Hall of Fame Builds. I am your host, Michael May, and today I'm going to show you why. You're going to get examples as to why you're supposed to have a MIDI. Because sometimes you don't know what situation you're going to get caught in. Now, I do understand, I do understand a lot of you guys play with bigs who don't like to pass the ball but then you run into a big like me and then you could actually mess up the game you can kill the chemistry because you don't have a midi so this whole day has been dedicated to show you guys why the midi is so important and why all these youtubers is is so i started off with the i started off with the showing you these trash builds right and i've been going up against and some of my guys who got these builds i'm not sure why then I showed you guys the, um, what did I show you guys? I showed you guys the zone. I showed you guys what you actually can do, the power of having the MIDI. And now I'm showing you guys the reason why your teammates should have the MIDI. Because you may get caught in one of these spots. And if you don't listen to me, if you can't pull it and be consistent this is another problem stop listening to these other youtubers making these shitty ass builds that's why i took it personal when when um this guy um when um when shake said oh a rare build with a high midi that's bullshit because even him he should be promoting builds with a high midi so that way it makes you more unstoppable when you can do a bit of everything. And I want to get into this, to this footage. You already know we're going to play it and then we're going to slow it down. Let's get into this. Some of these spots, play. it now happens. Keep going. Shoot that. Shoot that as a midi. He not ready. Bro, niggas ain't ready, bruh. This is why you can't, this is why you can't do that. I call for it. I got him. He not ready. He ready? He ready. He. Uh-huh, not there. Let's go. My badge is on too, so. Nope. Got you. Midi, baby! That's what, that's what having a midi's for. Excuse me, sir. Hey, oh, I see him. Shoot the... What? That's the thing I know midi, yup. Now let's get busy. We're gonna slow this down, all right? Now I want you guys to understand. Though you guys are going to see certain plays, this is exposing. This is exposing the weakness. The weakness. Hold on. Big shout out. Big shout out. I got to shout the homie out. Hold on. Now, nah, I'm going to shout him out at the end of the video. I want to give him some love. I'm going to give him some love. Let me just get it ready. Let me get it ready. Let me get it ready. Now, you know, I'll do it right now because we, we, we're in the middle of the process. So, so you guys can see this is my YouTube. I'm, I'm, I'm responding to, to, to the message. Uh, goody, 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 goody gumdrop. Funny. He said, yo, true. Can you make another video addressing these YouTubers that make these clickbait replica um, meta builds? And I said, it'll be my pleasure. It'll be my pleasure. I'm going to go around and show you guys the weaknesses in some of these builds. And now people will say, oh, are you hating? It's not hate. I'm showing you guys what other people aren't willing to tell you. That's not hate. That's me. That's me. If you are upset with me being honest and being transparent with you, then unsubscribe to this channel. You don't want somebody to be honest. That's the reason why I like Swan Tape. Now, though Swan Tape be dribbling his ass over, but I, I like the fact that he ain't afraid to call it out. 
but I'm gonna show you guys. You guys are gonna see something. You guys are gonna see different examples, right? Now look, he passed the ball over here. Now look, immediately. This is my guy right here. Now look, pay attention. He has to come over here and get me. Look, look, right here. Bruh, shoot the ball. But the reason why I put the other clip of when he shot the three is cause he ain't got no fucking midi. When I went and looked at his card, he ain't got no midi. His midi was like a 73. That's not my fault. That's not my fault. No one told you to come out here with an, with a, with an inadequate build. I didn't tell you to do that. So now, he didn't shoot that. Really? Come on. Come on, man. Come on, man. Sad. It's sad. And especially when you're running with a passing big like me, you never know when the ball is coming at you. To be honest, you're never really going to know. Like this. I believe it's right here. Watch this. Pay attention. Look, I love doing things like this. Look, I post spin. But you ready? Look where his feet is at. He has a three ball. He got a three ball. That's what he got. He got a three ball. See what I'm saying? Like, that's the problem with a lot of dudes. A lot of dudes don't have the midi so they can't perform even if you pass them the ball correctly. I already tell y'all guys, man, hands up defense. I watch this play. And it's sad, because y'all guys don't understand something. But I'm gonna show you the power. Look at this, look at this. Once he came back in, y'all see this? Look, look. Look where he caught the ball. Look where he caught the ball. This is a two-pointer. Um, Hoops, I believe, has an 80, 81 midi. Look where he's shooting it from. As you guys can see, See, see the points. Look, thirty-one, thirty-one. I'm trying to tell you guys, man, that you have to have a midi because you never know when somebody's gonna pass you the ball in a in a really tough spot. Pay attention. Pay attention to this. He passed me the ball. Watch this. Bang. Dribble. Now. The next video I'm going to be showing you guys is going to be the power. I'm going to show you the pros and the pros of this layer package. This Jokic, right? Now, hear me out. you seen I missed it, right? Okay, look. I'm going to give out one of my tips right now. The power of this Jokic, I'm not sure if you guys see even when he's playing the game in real life it's a soft layup so when it hits the rim it comes right down versus when you see these guys do all this stuff like this and it hits the rim and it ricochets when he let all his layups are like right there to the rim and it touches the rim and it floats around and the likelihood if you have old boards you would get the board back. Now, ready? This is the guy. So this is two times. You've seen him shoot the three. This is the second time we pass him the ball right here in the open. Look, he tried to step back to the three ball. Because he doesn't have a midi. You guys need to understand. Or, oh, listen. Hear me out. I don't run with nobody. 
none of my guys doesn't have a player without a midi. If you put up that, listen, I'd rather you have a midi than a three ball. Because if I come down court, I catch the rebound, you may not have time to get back, but I'll flashy pass it to you. <laughs> Two times in this one footage that you've seen, this man could not. He could not fulfill his duties. So he had to pass it off. This is why you have to have a midi. This is why you have to have a midi. Listen, man, it is what it is. <laughs> Next video we're going to get to shortly. Y'all already know I'm your host, Michael May. Thank you for being here at True Hall of Fame Bill. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Please turn on the notifications. And y'all already know. Till next time, we out.